I am Gautam and welcome to GKMix. In this video, I am going to talk about one very very important chapter for IIT JAM that is from inorganic chemistry, the D-block elements and the coordination chemistry. Okay, and from this chapter, you will uh, face at least 10 to 12 marks. So that is why this chapter is very very important and this is also the base of inorganic chemistry and that is why I am telling this as very 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 important chapter for JAM and also other uh, MSc entrance examination. Okay. And first, I will discuss about the last five years question papers. A lot of questions are there, and then I will uh, discuss about the syllabus. Okay, so apna seat belt band lo because this video is going to be uh, a little bit lengthy. So the first question from Jam 2014 was the electronic transitions responsible for the K2Cr2O7 and phosphine. So K2Cr2O7 that is Cr2O7 two minus here O2 minus two. Cr6 6, uh, 6 plus metal ion this kind of ligand to metal charge transfer is possible so maybe option C and option D is correct okay so the next is phosphine that is PH3P which, uh, which actually shows the pi to pi star transition that is why option C is correct because uh, this shows pi to pi star transition because there is a pair of pi electron on the phosphorus atom and then this pi electron will go to next higher orbital that is the LUMO that is pi star orbital that is why it shows the pi pi star transition so option C is correct okay so coming to next question that says the correct order of MC bond stretching frequency so that I have to find the MC bond strength okay of different system that is titanium vanadium chromium and manganese so the MC bond will be stronger the MC bond will be stronger for that system which metal ion has the uh, C is common so it, it will depend on the metal atom okay so the MC bond will strong for that metal atom which has the highest capability to donate electrons that is back bonding to the carbon atom so, so titanium then vanadium then chromium then manganese so here in case of titanium titanium has the highest electron density on it because it shows titanium 2 minus vanadium shows vanadium minus chromium shows chromium and manganese shows mn plus oxygen state so the highest ele electron density on the titanium uh, implies that it has the highest metal to carbon transferable electron so that is why it can easily uh, donate electron to the carbon that is back bonding and that is why it has the highest strong mc bond okay then coming to vanadium then coming to chromium then last manganese so the option c is correct okay coming to next question that says two reaction that is ni co uh, ni and co reaction okay you can see the question on your screen so the x will be very simple ni co whole 4 which is a tetrahedral complex and for fcl2 the, the second reaction the y will be that one that's is Fe Cp hold by Cp means cyclopentane actually ring of course like this Fe then cyclopentane cyclopentane ring okay. okay so option A is correct because the 5 electron in the system donates the electron that is why it is eta 5 not eta 1 eta 1 means only one uh, electron one system one center will donate electron to the Fe atom okay here five electrons donate that is why it is eta 5 so option a is correct so coming to next question that says the correct order of crystal field strength so crystal field strength you have to know the spectrochemical series and from that you will get the value so uh, the spectrochemical series uh, is different on the the system the ligand which has the highest pi acceptor capability and sigma donor capability pi acceptor and sigma donor which uh, will have the highest value of uh, crystal field strength okay and thus the final order will be cl minus then h2 then en then eta 5 cp okay uh, so you have to know the spectrochemical series and the famous uh, ligands okay not uh, not every ligands okay so you will find this in every standard book of course in wikipedia also so find the series and read one time so coming to the next question that says that uh, you have to find the co nh3 whole 6 c plus that is a d6 system and low spin okay because of the strong field in a ligand so the electronic configuration will be t2g is 1 2 3 4 5 6 because of the low spin system so t2g is t2g 6 that is eg and eg 0 that will be the electronic configuration and from this you have to find the 
CFAC value. The CFAC value means you have to multiply this with minus 0.4 delta O and this one plus 0.6 delta O because it will uh, give the value 0 because of uh, number of electron here is 0. So 6 into minus 0 0.4 that is minus 2.4 delta O will be the CFAC value. And to calculate the magnetic mo moment that is the root power of n into n plus 2 n is the number of unpaired electrons. So here the num number of unpaired electrons is 0. So magnetic moment is 0 bm. Okay. So this is all about jump 2014 and coming to jump 2015. And the first question was the high spin tetrahedral geometry. Okay. So the two factor that is delta T and P. Pairing energy means the energy which is needed to pair up a electron. So let's say a system like this. First electron, second electron, then third electron. Then this is a T2G system and the, this is EG system. Okay. So for EG system, only two electron is possible and here only two orbital is possible and here three orbital is possible. So the fourth electron may be in the T2G level or in the EG level. So if it is in the T2G level, it uh, then we will get that the fourth electron, that is electron, both electron have a negative charge, that negative negative repulsion will occur. And for this, you have to add some extra energy to pair up. Okay. So that energy is called pairing energy. For delta, uh, delta D system, that is E level is uh, below side and this is uh, top side. So T2 and E. And this is the delta D. So if delta D is lower, and pairing energy is greater then easily electron can jump from here to here the, as delta t is lower if delta t is higher uh, than p then electron would likely to be paired up instead of going to the next orbital that is t2 okay so if delta t is greater than p then elect easily it will paired up if p greater than delta t then it will go to the next step so for high spin system it will it should have to go to the next step next orbital that is why the second option that is b is correct okay so the next question from a filter paper in moisture that is cadmium acetate okay so you can see the question on your skin that the cadmium acetate solution turns yellow upon exposure of H2. so the basic theory is that cd2 plus that is uh, that came from uh, cadmium acetate and S2 minus that come from uh, that comes from H2S. Okay, so H2S2 Cd2 plus ligand. This is ligand. This is metal. Ligand to metal charge transfer is responsible for the for that color. This this is very simple. Okay, the next question was the normal spinel among the following mixed metal oxides are okay. Actually, I have already made a video uh, in normal spinel and, spinel and inverse spinel. So you can check the video by clicking this I button. Okay. So first watch that video and then we'll easily understand what is uh, normal and what, what is inverse spinel. Okay. So the final answer, I am, I am not, I am not elaborating that. I'm, I'm just giving you the answer. The final answer will be D. That is ZN Fe2 O4. And this is normal spinel. Other three are inverse spinel. Okay. The next question says that the complex that is expected to show orbital contribution. So orbital contribution means with spin only value, you will get the spin orbit coupling. Okay, the four system is chromium three plus chromium three plus that is uh, that that comes from uh, CRC and hole six, and from COH to hole six, we will get cobalt two plus, then Ni two plus, then finally Cu two plus. This is a d3 low spin system cobalt 2 plus is a d7 high spin system because of the uh, corresponding uh, ligand that is a strong field ligand or weak field ligand for a strong field ligand i will get low spin for weak field ligand i will get strong field okay nicen that is d8 low spin and d9 for cu2 plus d9 low spin so the trick is you just need to find the unsymmetrical distribution in these systems okay the unsymmetrical distribution means let's say d3 d1 d2 1 2 3 okay this is t2g eg it is a a b c d okay so let's take for b 
फोर बी डी एट वन टू थ्री लो स्पिन फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नॉन सिमेट्रिकल फुल सिमेट्रिकल सिस्टम देन कमिंग टू सी दैट इज कोवल्ड वन टू थ्री हाई स्पिन फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन सो हेयर इज अन सिमेट्रिकल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इन टी टू जी लेवल बिकॉज दिस टू इलेक्ट्रॉन दिस टू इलेक्ट्रॉन मे बी राइट हेयर एंड हेयर और हेयर एंड हेयर दिस मे बी वैकंट ओके सो दिस डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन कैन बी वेरिड ओके एंड लास्ट कमिंग टू टी नाइन दिस वन टू थ्री लो स्पिन फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन सो अनसिमेट्रिकल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इन इजी लेवल सो द ट्रिक इज यू जस्ट नीड टू फाइंड द अनसिमेट्रिकल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इन द टी टू जी लेवल नॉट इन द इजी लेवल बिकॉज द इजी और बैटल दैट इज डी एक्स स्क्र माइनस वाई स्क्र एंड डी जेड स्क्र कैन नॉट बी इंटर कन्वर्टेड थ्रू रोटेशन बट दिस ट्री कैन बी कैन बी इंटर कन्वर्टेड बाई मे बी फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री रोटेशन ओके सो दैट इज वाई इट शोज दिस काइंड ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ओके एंड सी हुई हैज अनसिमेट्रिकल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इन इज टी टू जी लेवल ओके एंड दैट इज वाई इट शोज द ऑर्बिटल कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन सो यू विल फाइंड दिस काइंड ऑफ एक्सप्लेनेशन इन आर पी एस वॉल्यूम टू एंड दैट इज वेरी 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 गुड ओके सो यू शुड हैव दैट बुक ओके so i will suggest you as a reference uh, that book okay so the next question from jam 2015 uh, was which of the following statement is a true about the metal alkene complex so metal and alkene c double bond c so first how uh, how this uh, kind of bond formation occurs so first ligand that is double bond system uh, alkene donates sigma electron that is sigma bonding formation occurs then metal to this uh, ligand back bonding that is called synergic effect this kind of back bonding occurs okay so the option a says this is a msq type question so multiple options may be correct option a says back bonding weakens the double bond of the alkene so if back bonding occurs the electron density increases and that is why electron electron repulsion will increase and that weakens the cc double bond okay so that is true and the second option says sigma bonding and back bonding synergistically strengthen the metal alkene complex of course i have already said that this is correct this bonding and this bonding of course increases the metal carbon bond okay and option c and d are also incorrect okay so option a and option b are correct so coming to next question that says given that the cfac value of co h2 whole 6 that is co h2 whole 6 2 plus that is cobalt 2 plus system that is d7 system and of course for h2 uh this is high spin okay so that is the t2g5 eg2 system so which is cfac value multiply it minus 0.4 delta o and multiply multiply it with plus 0.6 delta o 5 into minus 0.4 6 2 0.6 and finally we will get minus 0.8 delta o this is the cfac value and also it is given in centripetal inverse that is minus 0.8 delta o is equal to 7360 okay centripetal inverse so you can easily ignore this negative not uh, here because you have to uh, do some addition or subtraction right here so ignore this uh, when you get the negative value when you get the uh, negative cfs value okay so from here you will get delta o is equal to 9200 centripetal inverse okay and this value when you convert this to kilojoule then we will get 110.12 kilojoule per mole so what is the relation the relation is 1000 cm inverse is equal to 11.97 kilojoule per mole this is the 1000 cm inverse equals to 11.97 kilojoule per mole you have to remember this one okay this is very important relation so next question from uh, that says the nicl whole four that uh, it's actually very easy question the spin only magnetic moment that is the formula is n into n plus 2 which is given 2.83 mu v that is bore magneton and you just need to find the number of uh, unpaired electrons so n is the number of unpaired electrons so if you put the value of n is as 2 you will get this value so n equals to 2 right here okay you can find the value from the system also that is the system which is given you can see on your screen the system so now coming to jam 2016 which says that the the first question was the mn is to hold 6 that is t2g eg mn d5 system of course for h2 weak field ligand that is high spin system 1 2 3 4 5 so for this one we will get minus uh, if we multiply 3 into minus 0.4 delta o and for this 2 into 
plus 0 0.6 delta o, we will get nothing that is 0. So, final answer will be 0 delta o. Okay. The next question coming from John Taylor distortion that is Cu H2O whole 6. So, the distortion looks like this Cu then O is 2, O is 2, O is 2, O is 2 and finally this O is 2, this O is 2. Everywhere O is 2 is present. So, these two O is 2 bond uh, are uh, lengthier than these four. So, the final option this is due to the uh, John Taylor elongation. Okay. And that is why the final answer will be 4 CuO 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 CuO bond length is shorter than the remaining two. These remaining two are uh, longer than these four. Okay. So, this is due to the John Taylor distribution. If you want, I uh, make a video on uh, John Taylor distribution. You can comment below. I will definitely try to make a video on this. Okay. So, the next question coming from Jump 2016 was two system that is PT, CN, whole 4, 2 minus and NI. CL whole 4 2 minus. So basic difference this is D8 system, this is D8 system. Basic difference is CN strong field ligand, CL weak field ligand. So this for this we will get the uh, low spin complex and for this high spin complex. So this is very easy. 1, 2, 3, 4. So for PT platinum system and this is for nickel system. Okay. So for platinum system D8. 1 weak field 2 sorry for d8 and strong field so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 no unpaired electron so no unpaired electron that is it is diamagnetic and here 1 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 there is two unpaired electron that is it is paramagnetic so option d is correct diamagnetic and paramagnetic okay so the next question coming from 18 electron rule that says you have to calculate the uh, x value. Okay. So the system is Cu, Co, whole x plus. So Cu, that is that has the 4s, sorry, 3d10, 4s1 electron configuration. So for that, uh, we will get 11, total 11 electron plus Co. Is Co donates 2 electrons. So x Co donates x into 2, that is 2x electron and positive charge. Here we are counting the number of electrons, so positive charge will decrease the charge of the electron, so that is why minus 1 and finally we will get 18. Because we are uh, counting, uh, we have to, the, because we know that this system obeys 18 electron rule and from this we will get x equals to 4. That is number of CO ligand is 4. Okay, and x is the, uh, this is the correct answer. Option C. So now coming to uh, next question that says the correct order of uh, NO. Okay. Actually, this question is totally wrong and that is why MTA marks to all. If for any wrong question, you will, everyone will get the full marks for that question. Okay. So, the next question was from the red color of ruby. So, you have to know about ruby laser which consists of generally two systems that is CR3 plus and AL2O3. So, you can understand which will be the correct answer. Option B. Okay, and you will find this from RPS Volume 2, RP Shorkar Volume 2, and of course uh, that book is a great one. So you have to know the about ruby laser, otherwise you cannot answer them. The next question says the ion that exhibit only charge transfer bands. Of course, charge transfer bands uh, is shown by these two systems. CR from the option one is CR O4 2 minus, another is Re O4 minus so this two option will be the correct okay so this uh, charge transfer spectra you will also find from rps volume 2 this is a very good book and ct bands are there with great explanation uh, in that particular book okay so you can follow that book next coming to another question that says the total number of isomers possible for this is a system like m a4 bc a means nht b means cl and this CL, this is NO2 and this is NHT and M for of course cobalt. Okay. So I am writing this to make the system very easy. So there are only four isomers possible for this system. So the isomers are M, A, 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 B, C, then M. A, 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 
this is b this c then a a a a b c and finally the mirror image of this that is m a sorry this will be b a a a a and finally c so these two are c's this is trans and this is cis okay, there is one two three four four different kind of isomers are possible so coming to next jam 2017 that says the homogeneous catalyst used for so the homo you have to know about the homogeneous catalyst this is a very important topic and this topic you will find in wiki targeted book okay homogeneous catalyst okay and the final answer will be you have to know this otherwise you cannot answer this question okay so the final answer for water gas shift reaction water gas shift reaction this will be RuCl2 Bi Py whole twice this will be the homogeneous catalyst for that uh, reaction so next coming to another question that is the linear and bent NO so NO NO plus and NO minus so in case of NO plus metal N double bond O plus this is linear and for bent N N double bond O and there is for NO minus there is one negative charge or lone pair and for that lone pair this system looks like this M N double bond O because of this repulsion okay this for this because of this repulsion this system looks like bent and for this and that is why option B that is NO plus is responsible for linear and NO minus is responsible for bent uh, kind of uh, system the next question coming from the wavelength of absorption okay so you know about delta E which is proportional to 1 by lambda there is wavelength okay so so if a system has higher uh, energy gap that will have the uh, lower wavelength and lower energy gap that is higher uh, wavelength so here energy gap means delta O for uh, metal system okay delta O means energy gap between the T2G and EG level this energy gap is delta O and here you, you should know about the system the metal ion is common chromium and the ligands are different that is F minus H2O En and Cn so the the in between these all uh, ligands the ligand which has higher splitting power okay so for cn minus then cn then f minus and then h2 then f minus so cn minus split the system with much more energy gap and f minus has the lowest uh, splitting uh, capability to split the this easy and t2g level okay so that is why the energy gap for cn minus is greater and that is why the lambda value is uh, less for cn minus and for f minus energy gap uh, is lower the splitting is lower and there is a lambda value is higher so thus option a that says the cr f63 minus has the highest uh, lambda max value that is lambda value and cr cn uh, whole 60 minus has the lowest lambda max value okay so coming to next question that says the enthalpy of hydration so for uh, for the enthalpy of hydration you need to remember a series that called Irving William series okay this is uh, you will get the reference book from in the reference book RP Shorker volume 2 so Irving William order that sh that says the order like this manganese then Fe then cobalt then nickel then Cu then zinc sorry Cu has the highest value then zinc so this has the highest value and in uh, uh, there is another atom there is another metal ion chromium which has the value higher than manganese but lower than fe okay so final answer will be nickel then cobalt then chromium then manganese okay so option c is correct okay so so coming to next question that is from john taylor distribution this is a very important question and there will be a trick okay so the trick is so the question is here d5 high spin which shows the john taylor distribution d5 high spin then high spin then d5 low spin d6 high spin d6 low spin so the system which has here also you have to find the unsymmetrical distribution in the system so for high spin there is uh, d5 high spin there is no unsymmetrical distribution 
here d5 low spin there will be unsymmetrical distribution because 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 for low spin 4 5 so here not uh, 6 electron or 3 electron so that is why there is unsymmetrical distribution in the reduced level is 11 okay so here for this system uh, uh, joint distribution is possible as there is unsymmetrical distribution and for this one also d6 system that is like this d6 high spin 1 2 3 4 5 6 here also unsymmetrical distribution is present because of this electron and this also shows the joint distribution and d6 low spin there is no unsymmetrical distribution 1 2 3 4 5 6 no unsymmetrical distribution so i want to add something right here that in this case not uh, the previous one that uh, that is for orbital uh, contribution in this case if unsymmetrical distribution present in both in any of this uh, system that is t2g level or EG level in the previous one you need to find the unsymmetrical distribution in the t2g level only but in case of joint Taylor distribution you need to find the unsymmetrical distribution in t2g and EG in uh, case of both level okay so if there is any unsymmetrical distribution in t2g or EG level you, uh, the system will show the joint Taylor distribution okay so next coming to another question that is uh, the k2 ni f6 okay so the number of unpaired electron so here this is a very important system so k2 ni f6 here ni is in plus 4 oxidation state so there is a very high oxidation state and because of this f minus which is generally a weak field ligand okay and does uh, ni 4 plus show uh, need to, uh, should show the high spin uh, system but because of this highest higher oxidation state f minus will act as a strong field ligand because it demands a lot of electron okay so f f minus will act as a strong field ligand and because of this it will uh, act as a uh, low spin complex and for this d a this is a d6 system so d6 that means 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 5 6 the number of unpaired electron is 0 right here okay so because of this the answer will be zero the number of unpaired electron is zero okay so coming to next question that is jam 2018 and the first question was i have already solved this question uh, maybe in jam 2014 okay and the final answer will be ti co whole 6 2 minus because of the highest electron density on the titanium 2 minus system okay so I have already already solved this question uh, in jam 2014 so I need not to solve it again so coming to next question that is the correct order of delta O okay so delta O that is splitting that depends on two factors the spectrochemical series of ligands and the spectrochemical series of metal ions so for ligands here two ligands are present that is Cn minus and I minus so you already know that the uh, crystal field splitting uh, of crystal field splitting by cn minus uh, will be greater than i minus because this is uh, both sigma donor and pi acceptor ligand okay so another factor here uh, here works that the cobalt rhodium and iridium from uh, along a group the crystal field splitting energy or crystal field splitting pattern increases okay this is a factor you, have, you need to remember so two factor one by ligand another by metal ion okay so for here the system which have ir both ir and cn minus has the highest uh, crystal field splitting then the system with ir or uh, r rhodium or cn minus highest crystal field splitting so you need to find the system which has the ir and cn so maybe option b or option c correct okay so next coming to uh, second one that is that shows the splitting in the rhodium complex the rhodium i6 rhodium i6 or rhodium cn6 rhodium cn6 has a higher splitting pattern that is why r is cn6 that is option b so option b will be correct okay so this is how you can easily uh, solve this type of question okay so next coming to another question that is the number of possible isomers that is pt py then nst then br then cl that is m a b c d type system so for this four uh, three different kind of uh, isomers are possible how m 
A, B, C, D. Then M, A, B, C, D. Then M, A, D, B, C. So, this kind of three different kind of isomers are possible. Okay. Coming to the next question that says the magnitude of the okay you can see the question on your screen and this is uh, the same type of question as I have already solved okay so you can first uh, easily uh, can calculate the delta value that is the energy difference energy gap between the two level then from there you can easily uh, calculate uh, in of course in kilojoule uh, in kilojoule and then you can calculate the wavelength of course lambda max value in nanometers okay and you, you can easily do that so so it is your homework so i hope you can easily do that so this is all about the last five years question paper and now coming to syllabus discussion so here the top first topic mm, that says the characteristics of 3d elements it includes the melting and boiling points order of the 3d series 3d periods not the 4d or 5d periods the comparison between 3d uh, elements 3d metal ions okay then metallic and non-metallic properties with period how they varies uh, towards the periods increases or decreases then densities density how density varies in the 3d series then stable oxygen state and variable oxygen state a lot of metal ions are present uh, in which uh, there are a, there are um, more than one oxygen states are present and in between these only one oxygen state or more than one oxygen state are stable so you have to you have to find the oxygen state which are stable which uh, are the possible oxygen state everything okay so just read the oxygen state very carefully from any standard book that is from Hui or from rp shortcut volume 2 then coming to another uh, topic that is color of complex formation so they form a lot of complexes and uh, the you need to find the uh, how the color varies okay so actually these are not that much important so the next important topic is ionization energy and electron affinity of the uh, 3d series uh, along the periods okay so so you need to remember the order how ionization energy and electron affinity varies so next coming to oxide hydroxide and salts of 3d elements this topic is not that much important i have not seen any question from this so but um, for your safety just uh, read the stability of the oxide hydroxide and salts and also the important maybe important that is the acidity and basicity order of that oxide system oxide and hydroxide system okay then coming to very 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 important topic that is coordination complexes the structure first so from the structure just read the splitting pattern of the uh, metal ions in the tetrahedral field octahedral field square planar field square pyramidal field and trigonal bipyramidal field so this five field you need to read and then coming to isomerism isomerism means the number of isomers then optical activity and optical inactivity then number of geometrical isomers optical isomers then meso compound uh, facial meridional compound then uh, you need to find the enantiomer number of enantiomer diastiomer or the relation between them uh, about homomer okay so uh, you will get this isomerism topic from uh, any class 2 class 12 standard book okay so next coming to uh, reaction mechanism and electronic spectra for that uh, you just uh, need to follow the trans effect from reaction mechanism not other effect like outer sphere inner sphere reaction that topic are important for net or gate examination but not for jam so for jam just read the trans effect okay now coming to electronic spectra electronic spectra mainly uh, important are uh, important are the orgel diagram okay not the tanabasic one diagrams uh, that is uh, d1 d2 d3 d4 d6 d7 d8 d9 these systems okay so and also the dd transition charge transfer spectra then laporte selection rule then spin selection rule this kind of systems and application of this selection rule okay so and also some uh, magnetic properties like uh, paramagnetism or diamagnetism which are uh, then spin only and orbital contribution uh, whether the metal ion given metal ion shows the orbital contribution or not already i have sh uh, shown you how to solve this same questions the uh, unsymmetrical properties by the unsymmetrical properties okay so then coming to another topic that is organometallic compounds okay so i i want to add something here that uh, before starting organometallic compounds that so i have seen all the questions coming from if you uh, follow two books that is rp shankar volume 2 and wiki targeter so you will not miss any questions from this chapter in iitism exam because uh, all the questions are from these two books so this if you uh, want to buy these two books you just go to my blog and from any blog 
uh, the previous one or the current one from anywhere you can buy the book from amazon okay so if you buy from there then i will get some commission from there so if you want to buy then try to buy from my link okay so next coming to organometallic compounds right so the compounds are metal carbonyl metal nitrosyl metal oxins actually so metal carbonyl metal and co metal nitrosyl metal and no and metal oxin this metal with cp like system that is cyclic system Okay, there is benzene ring, maybe five member ring, pentan, cyclopentan ring. Okay, so this kind of metal ring. Then 18 electron rule that is not included, but this is included with this kind of system. Okay, so it don't miss the 18 electron rule. And also metal carbon, two types of carbon, uh, Fischer carbon and Schrock carbon. Carbon. So for metal carbon, uh, for metal carbon, uh, the best book is Huig Tiger. Okay. And then coming to different kind of homogeneous catalyst. Homogeneous catalyst, for example, uh, especially uh, so different kind of hom homogeneous catalyst you have to read. Uh, this also I will suggest the book reference book will be the Huig Tiger. Okay. So this is all about the uh, 3D and coordination chemistry system. And if you have any query, you can comment below or you can ask me on my Facebook group and you will get all the links in my description. So, so check over there. And of course, you can choose any topic uh, to make videos and I will definitely make a video on that topic. Okay. So keep following, keep watching and thank you. Thanks for watching.